So EA dropped two brand new evolutions into the evolution center. Let's check them out and see the best options you guys can pick for the brand new evolutions. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. So we've got one free and one paid evolution that's brand new inside the section. So the first one is Trailblazer center back, which allows you to evolution a center back that's maximum 77 overall with maximum 72 pace, 70 dribbling, 80 defending and 78 physical. Their position has to be CB. Or I guess it's going to be like an alternate position as well. It doesn't have to be like a right back with a CB position works as well. And that's free. And the maximum number of play, play styles for this one is seven. Then we also have Trailblazer Striker, which is a striker card that's a maximum 75 and you get a max 85 pace. 75 shooting, 79 dribbling, 80 physical, max number of playstyles 7 and have to be a striker. Now, I will say with these first of all, before we go into looking at some potential meta options, I believe in my heart that Evolutions is more so designed for people to use cards that they'd never use in FIFA or FC. So in my honest opinion, right, before we talk about some meta options... If there are players from a club you support, especially if you guys don't support a top six Premier League club, for example, if there are a bunch of players in, in a club you support, I'd go for that. I think sentimental value over meta 100%. And I think a lot of people obviously look for the best upgrades and the best cards possible. But realistically, I think these are there mainly to have a bit of fun and to enjoy some cards that you typically would not be able to get to a rating good enough to use in Ultimate Team in previous games. And now you can. So that's sort of my take on evolutions. And I think too often do we go completely meta and maybe we forget um, that we can just use cards from our clubs. And I, I've actually left a bunch of these. I haven't actually done a bunch of these yet um, because I'm still deciding who I'm going to use. And I will sort of do these before the expiry date this week, right? But uh, for this one, for example, my last year is 100% who I'm doing because I support Man United. So, and a lot of these, I will just use Man United players. Anyway. That being said, we do want to have a look at some potential meta options. Now, if you want to do this yourself, you can go over to FootWiz. I'm not sponsored, not paid or anything like that. But you can you can go over to FootWiz where you can find on the FootWiz uh, page, you can go to the Evolutions page. In fact, I can just show you guys actually uh, what I'm looking at. On the Evolutions page, you can basically just go and click on the Evolutions and have a look at some of the sort of better options that you can, you can go through. And it just shows you every option that's physically possible. So I went through for Trailblazer Striker and I looked at some of the options that i think are decent considering it's fifty thousand coins it is expensive so i wanted to look at some potential options right um and for example you can go straight away and look at pace and someone like benjamin sesco who's almost at the maximum pace i mean this card looks like it'd be pretty decent in terms of like six foot four 99 jumping good agility and balance good pace good striker like overall he's he is a striker he's a really solid option and if you've already got some leipzig players works really really well i think that there'll be a bunch of liverpool fans happy you can do a rigi so if you wanted uh divic a rigi get him in there uh eddie and ketia for arsenal fans i think you know leeds fans may be looking at bamford there's a couple of good leeds options for this one actually um but i think some of the better cards are actually in silver um and i think one a really really good option here is actually zauri now or zarui i'm sorry if i'm if i'm getting this completely wrong but I think this is a really good option. Now, the reason why I really like this option, he's four-star, five-star in the Premier League, can play left mid, left wing striker. His in-game stats already look really good. He's five foot ten with great pace, great dribbling, good passing, great shooting, and great physical stats. But also with this card, what I really like is you can add him to Welcome to Evo first. So you can do the Welcome to Evolution. I'm going to zoom in as well, just in case it's a bit small. Uh... Definitely not what anyone said to me before. But you can put him in Welcome to Evolution and actually get him to 86 rated. So he's actually an even better card. And to be honest, if you if you haven't ordered in a Welcome to Evolutions, which I haven't actually done, but maybe you have, uh, you can get him to 85 still. This card, in my opinion, if you're a Burnley fan, maybe you're Moroccan, or maybe you just want a decent striker option, would I say he's worth 50k? Maybe. Maybe he would be worth around 50k given Prem tax, given four star, five star, and his in game stats. Like, I think it could be worth 50k. 50,000 coins liquid on some of these cards. I mean, some of the options I looked at, I looked at Jefferson Savarino from Rail Salt Lake. And again, like maybe you've got a cheeky little MLS team running. He's a great option for an MLS team because we've actually had some really good options for Evos from the MLS. I know Chiellini, one of the center back options, and things like that. Um, so maybe running an MLS team, he'd work for that. But like this card's not worth 50k. It's not even close to worth 50k. Um, 
but most of the cards that are worth 50k are it's it's sentimental value 50k right like the the, the 50 000 coins is pure sentimental value i think another good option here uh, is unas he's four star four star medium low can play right mid right wing striker from leo and again really nice in-game stats a lot of these cards i try like what i want to do for some of these evolutions if i can't use a man united player for example i don't think i can actually use any man united players in this one i might be wrong i'm hoping i'm wrong um but i don't think oh great i don't know how i've just done that i don't think there are any man united options for the trailblazer striker maybe it's a man united women's options but if there aren't any man united options and there's no players that i just actually like in real life what i'm going to try and do is like predict what ea do with future content so for example maybe i go and get like someone from a certain nation and league that might be uh, great for squad building in the future that is like what i'm trying to do and I'm, I'm thinking in the future to like some obscure players that might get special cards for example maybe you go with someone that's norwegian in case harlan gets a card that you want to use later on in the year you know that sort of stuff um anyway on to trailblazer center back now this is a really there's one option here that i think is really really fun and i think is the the option to go with here um and you can actually get him a little bit higher rated if, if you do the welcome to evolutions is eric bertrand by now i'm not just saying that as a man united fan but fifa nostalgia will tell you right now what do you see when you look at that card because i see his fifa 17 card and maybe i'm alone in this one but i see eric by in fifa 17 when i look at that card and that's that's half the reason why i want to use him I w that's why i want to use uh, or, or get eric by i see his 84 rated uh fifa 17 item um i think it's fifa 17 oh my god it's fifa 18 um that's embarrassing okay well th this is the card that i meant anyway this is the card that i saw when i when i when i did it is this 84 rated fifa 18 card sorry i thought it was fifa 17 but it's fifa 18 that's poor from me but yeah that's what i see when i look at this card obviously the stats aren't identical but like that's what i see and that's why i really want to do eric by so i think eric by is a great option um i think another good option i don't know if i've got him in the club or not is actually tilo carer i might not have him in the club oh i do have him in the club all right perfect tilo carer i think is another good option um again if you can do him welcome to evolutions do that if not i think it's a decent premier league cb and this one's free as well and again maybe predicting what you're going to do in the future maybe going for an obscure nation excuse me nation might work as well um but i think that's a good option uh and then another one that i saw that i thought was quite nice as well was uh diana gomez who is a base 75 item she plays for sevilla's women's team and portugal but i think she could be a really nice option as well Get, getting to a really nice so 83 rated uh 87 defending 82 physical and 79 pace center back option with good balance reactions and composure and things like that as well so there are a couple of decent options out there i think maybe if you want to dig a little bit deeper you can find some silvers potentially again i'm going man united right i'm going man united or i'm going for someone that i like you know if you're a burnley fan maybe harwood bellis from his season last season he was incredible for burnley last year uh obviously he's at southampton now or maybe you're a man city fan and you want to go with him um you know there are going to be some really cut there you go for your burnley fan maybe go for ekdal let's pick up one for burnley guys actually this is a good one for silvers in general realistically um or maybe you just want to go with someone from pendix and you get yourself a uh, rasul who's 77 rate with 80 page you know what i mean like that's what you can do so there are some really nice options here um to go with and uh and I think doing a bit of digging and finding them would work. And also maybe someone fits perfectly for your team. Maybe you're running a fun team this year and you're not going full meta. Or you're not going full sweat. And maybe like you find a good option for a card potentially, you know, and it works for your team. So let me know down below if you guys find any hidden gems and who you guys are going to Evo for the brand new evolutions. Thank you all for watching the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you lads in the next video.